She joins me, we're making it work today, along with Jess Stewart on the Coffee Group to talk about our need to be perfect. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Lovely Mel. Lovely Now, do you ever beat yourself up when something doesn't go according to plan? Well, maybe you find yourself taking it on so much that it's inevitable that you'll fail. Jess and Vanessa have some advice. Now, Jess, what does it mean when we talk about being a perfectionist? What does it actually mean? Being a perfectionist, Mel, means that we want to get more than 100% in everything that we do never make any mistakes. We have these excessively high standards that we struggle to meet. We set the bar far higher than it needs to be. And we also struggle to say no or delegate because we can see asking for support as a sign of weakness. Oh yeah, that's not a good idea. I can already hear the alarm bells going off. Vanessa, what, why are women particularly hard on themselves, do you think? Well, women are definitely tend to be a perfectionist more than men. Uh, we tend to ruminate over it, you know, worrying about every little outcome, and we'll tend not to make a decision, of course, until we're 100% sure it's going to be go the way we would yeah. like it to go. So, you know, we'll also tend to not give ourselves credit where credit's due. So, if we actually, for example, at work get a great deal, you know, we'll say, oh, everyone in the room was so empathetic, and it was a wonderful customer, and I'm not surprised that we got the deal. Uh, and when something goes wrong we'll blame ourselves oh if yeah. only I'd put more effort in or worked harder at it so yeah we tend to be terribly hard on ourselves well, we do and we do that thing where we wake up at night and we start thinking about what we could have done differently don't absolutely. we absolutely do, do, do you think do you do that Jess yeah totally I'm a recovering perfectionist I don't know about you Vanessa, but I know many <laughs> women that are a recovering perfectionist what is that so I've been a perfectionist for many years and I think it's one of those things that as women we, are, we have this superwoman ideal where we're sort of taught that we need to be juggling multiple roles masterfully and never make mistakes and that can be in our upbringing, it can be through what we're exposed to in slick marketing campaigns, airbrushed photos in magazines, mm. there's so many um, images of perfection around us that it leaves us feeling like this is something we should aspire to be and anything less is failure, there's no middle <laughs> so ground. True. Yeah there is no middle ground. Vanessa, how do we set more more realistic goals then? I think it's really important to decide, you know, what goals are important for you. So don't worry about what everyone else thinks. Just pick one or two things. Don't over uh, over goal set because otherwise you're not going to be able to achieve it all of it. Mm. So one or two things and really target it down. So rather than, oh, I'd love to be fit, it'd be great to go to the gym a couple of times a week, actually decide which class you're going to go to and diarise it. Use the apps that are available, print it off, pop it on the on the calendar, on the fridge, and don't accept anything else in those times. And then you've actually set yourself up for success because unfortunately if we broaden it too much and set ourselves too many goals and too broadly, we're actually setting ourselves up for failure mm. because we're not going to achieve on anything. I'm going to eat really healthily and spend all this time playing outside with my children. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit loose. Mm. So actually target down, what are you going to change in your diet? What recipe book are you going to use? And actually plan it out. And then you'll be really proud of yourself when you achieve it. Yeah. Jess, why is perfection such a bad thing to try and you know, strive towards? It, it is. It's um, something that we think is the key to our success, but it can also be our undoing. It means that we'll do our best and try and do a really good job, but it also means that we can take on too much. It takes longer. We can often risk failing, um, burning out. So it can be our undoing, and sometimes done is better than perfect. I think Vanessa makes a valid point. You know, it's our fear of failure sometimes at play that pushes us to be perfect. So we go so far away from failing that we go to the other extreme. Mm. And of course, the irony is that then we set ourselves up mm. to fail by yeah, doing that. Yeah, and then that. you can such a lot of procrastination when you're um, when you're trying to be perfectionist because you've got to get it just right. Okay, finally, then from both of you, what is your top tip for kicking the perfectionism? So for me, I would say don't do ready get set, go, just do get ready and go. Okay. Move the get set, just take, be fearless, you know, get out there and take some challenges, uh, take some risks and be brave. Uh, and then worry about all the little things afterwards, after you've made the decision, get on and do it and then you can fine tune it and tweak it. I like afterwards. that, I like yeah. that. Jess, what about you? I think give yourself permission to make mistakes and don't beat yourself up for being human. We're very good at mm. that, particularly as women. Yeah. So yeah, permission yeah. to make mistakes. We don't are wait human. for those outcomes to be 100% before you do it. Just get out there and give it a shot. Yeah, totally. Hey, thank you guys. Absolutely. That's been quite enlightening. Great advice as always. <laughs> uh, thank Thanks, you so much Mel. for joining us on the Coffee Group.